Welcome to New Homes in Northern Colorado. My name is Alexa Calloway and I work with Amal Gums here at Wonderland Homes as part of the sales team. If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering about how to craft the best budget for the design center for your new home. I'm excited to give you my advice and my tips for staying on budget for the design center for designing your new home, not just as a new home sales consultant, but also as a buyer myself. I went through this exact process and I just want to share some things that made it easier for me. So this is the exciting part. You have found the perfect lot, you found the perfect house that's gonna fit your needs, and now you get to design your home. You get to put the finishes into your home. This is really the fun Pinteresty part um, that we usually talk about when we're talking about new construction. So speaking of Pinterest, pull out those Pinterest boards and just go to town. Figure out exactly what kind of style you like. Look at different uh, inspiration from HGTV. Just really narrow down what kind of aesthetic you're looking for in your new home. For the things that you're going to be choosing at the design center, your hard surfaces. So your flooring, your countertops, and your tile. So deciding do you want carpet in the bedrooms or do you want flooring that goes all the way throughout the main level? Do you want quartz countertops? Do you want granite countertop? I would focus on the makeup of the home and the things that are very hard to do after the fact. This is going to help your designers at the design center make sure they can perfectly align your vision for your new home with what they have available. Now here at Wonderland Homes, we actually have a software called VEO, which is kind of like Pinterest in itself, and it allows our buyers to go online and look at all the options we have to offer through our design center and really customize their home before they even go in to meet with their designer so they have a good idea of what to expect. The next step is talking to a lender. You definitely want to be able to craft a budget that feels the most comfortable for you and it's hard to craft a wish list if you don't know where you want your budget to be. So talking to a lender is super important. Um, we actually use the same lender that we have here with Wonderland when we did purchase our first new home and her name's Mary Steinmeier. She's fantastic. She was able to break down our payment to figure out exactly what all of these extras that we're putting into our home, which are all the finishes, what it would add to our mortgage. Typically, every $10,000 that you add um, into your design is maybe $25 a month for your monthly payment. So over the course of a 30-year loan, it was worth it to us to really upgrade our home, especially when the payment only increased by about $25. And I'm not a lender, so definitely take the time to discuss with your lender what the best payment is for you. Once you've figured out your budget, I would go through line by line, figure out exactly what are your must-haves, and make sure it aligns with your budget. Now, this is the hardest part. Once you have decided what you want in your home, trust the process. Trust that you have picked what you have always dreamed of for your home. And just hold on to it because trends are gonna change. You're gonna see different colored cabinets and be inspired by that. And you really just want to hold on to the vision that you originally had. Most builders do not allow changes after you've submitted your design selections. And the reason why, coming from the inside perspective, is we have to order materials so far in advance with supply chain issues. So while you may go into your home and you see that it's just that the studs or there's maybe they're siding up, and you think, well, of course I should be able to change my design because there's nothing in here. We have to order those materials sometimes before we even break ground on construction. I can speak firsthand how hard it was to stick to the selections that we had picked. Because I work in this industry, I see all these beautiful homes get created and come to life. And all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh, maybe I wanted navy cabinets or 
black hardware or oh we should have done this flooring oh these countertops are beautiful and it's so hard to the vision that you had when you first went into designing your home and you just have to remember how much you loved that design process and remember you made the right decision and trends are going to change no matter what so just go back to why you made the choice you did most of all just really enjoy the process this is your brand new beautiful home and you designed it from scratch you get to decide all the different finishes that are going into it which you're so lucky to be able to do especially with the market some of the homes we have coming up here are spec homes and that means that us as new home sales consultants we have picked all the finishes that are going in and they're absolutely beautiful but they weren't what you picked so just savor this moment savor this time where you do get to select what you're looking for and really build your dream home so just to recap a couple of things to keep in mind for staying on budget with your design center Check out Pinterest and decide on your aesthetic for your home. Talk to a lender and figure out what your budget is. How much can you comfortably afford for your monthly payment and how those design selections affect your monthly payment. If you have any questions about the design center process, about picking your selections, or about talking to a lender, even if you're not working with Wonderland Homes, we would love to talk to you. We would love to answer any questions you have. I went through this myself single-handedly with my fiance and it was kind of a confusing process for us. And it was just really helpful to be able to talk to a lender through Wonderland and just know exactly what we were getting into. Um, it's pretty overwhelming getting to design your entire house. It's very exciting, but also overwhelming. <laughs> so we are here for you guys. Um, and we just really appreciate you watching our channel and please feel free to reach out. We love to make these videos. We love even more to help you and be a resource for you. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, we will have our phone numbers listed in the description. If you have any questions, we are here for you. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Happy building.